Hi, Andrew. It's good to have you on. Thank you for having me. So the government has approved a new North Sea oil field, Rosebank, for development. Is this a good move for our long term energy security? Yeah, I think it's the start um, of, of what could be a very long process. Um, we haven't had a lot of new oil fields for quite a long time. Rosebank is very large, um, and so it's significant in those terms alone. But I think it's probably more significant for what it symbolises. Um, I think the government has probably, um, after the failure of the um, renewables auction um, the other week, it's probably come to a realisation that that it, it may be that, that offshore wind isn't going to be providing as much energy as, as uh, they thought and that they are genuinely going to have to have a lot more um, oil and gas from the UK's continental shelf. So, yeah, I think it probably is quite important. Some campaigners have hit out against this new oil field, saying that uh, relying on fossil fuels is terrible for the cost of living. Would you say that their judgment is correct? No, um, th that's absolutely not true. Um, the campaigners, the, the green activists, have put around this myth that that um, wind power is cheap and will reduce bills. It's simply untrue, as proved by the failure of the offshore um, wind auction. Um, they were offered um, an increase on the previous year's clearing price, plus inflation, plus a load of other add-ons, and they didn't take it. It just shows that, um, that their costs are much higher than we've been led to believe. So, um, no, more... Uh, more fossil fuels will bring down bring down energy prices. This is an oil field rather than a gas field, so it's not really about electricity. It's a, it's a, it's about um, petrol and, and petrochemicals and that sort of thing. And just finally, uh, recently Rishi Sunak appears to have made moves to mellow some of the UK's net zero climate goals. Do you think the public is beginning to question the real costs of net zero? Yeah, I think the the energy crisis of of, of twenty twenty one has brought home to a lot of people that um, um, we can't carry on the way we have been. Um, it was very interesting that Mr Sunak said that people have been deceived about the costs of net zero. Um, I think with him saying it and also um, Philip Hammond, the former Chancellor of the Exchequer, said the same thing um, a couple of months ago. Um, people are starting to realise that, yes, they've been tricked. They've been led down this path. Um, and yeah, they are starting to feel the pain. People can see that the economy isn't growing, and that's a, that's a direct result of, of energy prices that are too high. So, yeah, I think, I think the, the, the pain is starting to bite, and the politicians are having to adjust their course as a result. Andrew Montford, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.